happy to honor Mr. Romo for School Board Appreciation Day. We began with the parade in the hallways where students presented him with cards and a gift basket. Afterwards, the student council officers had a main greet breakfast with him. We asked him a series of questions as he did in return. He ended the day by reading Cat in the Hat to the kindergarten class. My name is Jennifer Kurtzalls. I'm a second grade teacher at AB Cato Elementary. My class was actually a national winner for Read to Succeed contest. And Achieve 3000 is a program where the kids log in. And the lesson is an actual nonfiction article or it might be about a recent news event um, that's happening. They read the articles and then they go and answer about eight to 10 questions depending on their reading level. Hi, my name is Ava and I'm in second grade and a Chief 3000 is a struggle sometimes but it helps you read and write better the more you read the articles. I feel excited when I pass my activities because it's like passing good grades in school. I'm Corey Hoster. I am the campus academic leader here at AV Cato Elementary. And we have PLCs, which are professional learning communities that we offer to teachers and students. They have a period every day where teachers come to a room where they collaborate and work on data one day. Um, one day they may be planning, looking at specific lessons, how to intervene for students that maybe aren't getting what they need to out of the lesson and even enrich those students that are getting what they need out of the lesson. Uh, we also focus on technology. We have um, different people from the technology department that come over and work with ways to integrate technology in our lessons. Uh, then we have other directors and coaches that come and work with the teachers during that time. My name is uh, Mr. Ford, this is Ms. Mendoza and Ms. Gonzalez, and we are the fifth grade math and science teachers at AV Cato. In today's lab, you'll see students using common materials and creating the formation of sedimentary rocks, as well as they will start applying pressure to their model. In today's focus, they'll be making coal. The lab will consist of um, them using different cereals like Cheerios, Fruit Loops, um, cocoa pebbles to represent the different sedimentary rocks like sand, shell, sandstone, and they will be creating these layers in a plastic cup. And at the end of the lab, they will be using a different plastic cup to apply the pressure so that they can see what the pressure does as those layers are compacted over time. Having the cereal represent the sedimentary rock and the sand and the shell and the coal and then applying the pressure, the kids can actually visualize in their head what's actually going on in the outside world. So, I mean, it's, it's, really, it's really awesome to watch them kind of feed into that and kind of see how it actually works. My name is Adam Warner. I'm the chairperson of the PBIS committee on our campus. And so PBIS stands for Positive Behavior and Intervention Support and it's um, like a school-wide set of uh, expectations and guidelines that you would use uh, that eventually sort of permeates the entire culture of the campus. And so we came up with a theme, which is our Lion Pride, and uh, the P for Pride stands for being prepared, and then there's respectful, independent, and dedicated to excellence. So we're looking forward to uh, what happens with PBIS here at ABK. Hello, my name is Charlie Rodriguez and I'm the principal at AV Cato Elementary. I'd like to talk about some of the things that we're doing here at AV Cato and highlight some of our different programs and initiatives. Um, every month we celebrate the staff with uh, Chocolate Pay Day, so what we do is when teachers get paid every month, we walk to the teacher's classroom and we just give them a chocolate, just something small to let them know that we care for them and thank you for going above and beyond the, the call of duty. Another thing that we do also is we recognize a teacher or a paraeducator every month with a Who's Got Heart. The way this works is that we have a, a wall that is outside of our front office and when a teacher does something that goes above and beyond the, what his, his or her call of duty is, they're recognized by their peers and then every month at our staff meeting, 
we'll do a drawing for, for the many people that were in that one pool, and then we'll go ahead and recognize them and give them a small gift certificate. I'm Heather Wesolowski. I'm the school counselor here at AB Cato, and I'm here to talk to you today about the morning arrival. So during the morning arrival, we have music playing, fun, energetic, um, glad you're here at school, uh, music, and we're dancing, and the kids um, sometimes join us at the beginning of the year before we did breakfast in the classroom. The kids would have a dance party out there, and we would all dance together and, and have a good time. I like it because it helps me in the morning. I'm not a morning person, and it helps me to just kind of get motivated to start the day. Is that it? That's good. That's good. So, let me start over. So, at ABK, we do. I don't like. I don't like this. You know, we join forces with students on the last Friday of each. Golly. I'll look at you. Let me shut down.